Well, welcome everybody to Leasing Avenues. Uh, obviously, you can see we've got a new background. This is my new studio. Dave, thanks for coming all this way to my new studio. <laughs> You're so welcome. I, I appreciate you being here. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, actually, that's not really true. It's not my studio. Uh, we're attending the uh, Orion First Small Business Lending Forum in uh, at the Marriott in uh, what do we call it? Desert, uh, Desert Ridge. Desert, Desert, Desert Ridge in or Scottsdale. Desert Ridge, excuse me. Yeah. In Scottsdale. Yeah. So uh, we're here to talk with Dave, uh, founder and CEO of Orion First, uh, an outsourcing servicing back office processing company for the equipment leasing and finance industry. But you also do commercial you know, lending as well, back yeah. office servicing, We right? do loans, we do working capital. Uh, we do a variety of different financial structures other than just equipment finance. You got it. And uh, so Dave's here to talk to us. We've got several questions. We're not going to go into a bunch of background because everybody knows who Dave is. Dave's been around for a long time. We've known each other for well over 20 years. You started the company about 20 years ago? Yep. yep. And uh, we're also enjoying one of Dave's favorite drinks that some unsavory character turned him on to. What are we drinking, Dave? We're dri drinking some Diplomatico rum, uh, which uh, that unsavory character is the fellow sitting here to my right uh, <laughs> asking me these questions. <laughs> well, speaking of questions, we'll get right to it. So Dave, here's, here's kind of a question for you. In two minutes or less, or a little bit more, tell me about the evolution in terms of when you first started 20 years ago relative to companies being uh, responsive and accepted, acceptable in, 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 of outsourcing their back office or having others service their customer set uh, versus where we are today. So it's 20 years you've been through this. What's been the evolution? Well, I think it, it, it's hard to break through. It was 20 years ago. It was hard. Um, I think most people felt like, ooh, I, I'm not going to delegate out my customer service and my customer relationship. And, and, and that to others, how do I know that you're going to do it as good as I can do it? You right. know, how do I know you're going to make the collection calls? How am I going to know your people are going to be the quality that I want? You know, so it was just this huge question. And, and I don't know if I think that would be any company. I don't think it's just, you know, outsourcing in general. I think that's just any company. It takes a while before people can trust you. But, um, you know, frankly, from a business perspective, it's really accelerated the use of it. The, the, the focus, the specialization. Mm -hmm. You know, people are starting to realize their, their most valuable asset uh, isn't necessarily back office. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're saying, well, geez, no, I know how to originate, I know how to underwrite, I know how to fund, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, and then I also have to know how to do all the things that a back office has to do. Right. And, and I think people are just, frankly, becoming more attuned to do what you do best. Do what do what gets you the best bang for the buck. You know, uh, it's hard to be, you know, uh, the, uh, one person and serve many, many masters. Right. In in you know, so so no, I think it's become it's it's certainly uh, from our perspective. Uh, you know, our growth has really really come in the last you know three four years. Uh, uh, honestly.